construct a circuit for the Boolean expression. So we're given the Boolean expression and we have to work backwards and draw the circuit. So the way uh, I like to do this is to work backwards. So you start with like the outermost uh, piece, which would be this OR operator. So we're going to start with an OR gate and we're going to put that at the end. So here is our OR gate. Boom, there it is. I'm just going to draw a little line here, and I'll write OR. And the OR gate has um, two inputs. It has this expression here and this expression here. So this first expression here is an AND gate. That's going to come from an AND gate. So we need an AND gate. I'll go ahead and put that here. So here's our AND gate. And this one is going to come from a NOT gate. So I'm just going to squeeze it in down here. This will be our NOT gate. NOT gate. Again, we started with the outermost one, which is an OR gate. And then we look at each individual one. So this is going to require an AND gate. And this one here will require a NOT gate. So uh, what is going into the AND gate? Well, two things are going into the AND gate. Uh, not P and also Q. That means we need a NOT gate. So I'm going to go ahead and put another NOT gate here. Let's put NOT. And now we can really just think about it and finish. So P has to go into the NOT gate and that'll become NOT P and that goes into the AND gate as well. And what else goes into the AND gate? Well Q. So I'm going to draw an arrow here. So Q here also goes into the AND gate. But Q also has to go into the NOT gate. So I'll go ahead and do this. And there it is. There is our circuit for the Boolean expression. It takes a lot of practice to get good at this. So uh, if you need to, just you know watch the video again and then try to work through it on your own. These just take uh, a little bit of practice and time to get good at. And the more you do, you know, the better you get. I hope this video has been helpful.